This video explains how to create an empty pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. So if we want to create an empty pandas data frame, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then after running this line of code, we are able to use the data frame constructor, as you can see in the next line of code. And in order to create an empty pandas data frame, we simply have to specify the data frame constructor without any content. And in this case, I'm storing the output of the data frame constructor in a new data object that I call data1. And then I'm using the print function to print the content of this new data frame below the code box. And as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new empty data frame with zero columns and zero rows was created. It's also possible to create a pandas data frame with zero rows, but with certain column names. And this is what I want to show you in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm once again using the data frame constructor. However, this time I specify the columns argument and to this columns argument, I assign a list of certain column names. So in this case, I want to create an empty pandas data frame with three columns, which are called x1, x2 and x3. So after running this line of code, another data frame called data2 is created and we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created another empty data frame. However, this time our data frame already contains three columns, which are called x1, x2 and x3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.